Oh my God, yes, that's that's pretty incredible. I mean, the amount of effort that people go through so somebody can't see a, a, a tit, I mean, it's amazing. So what do you think about the appeals board members being uh, like studio executives and like people working for movie theaters as far as film buying goes? Well, it's an incredible conflict of interest. And it's, the, you know, the MPAA, the reason they do this is they want to control the rating system so nobody else gets in and restricts, uh, you know, their movies in any way. They just want to keep controlling the whole system. Um, what's interesting is, you know, they make a big deal about how all the raters are parents. You know, that's that's the you know that's how they know how to properly rate films. They, you know, but you know that that rule doesn't apply to the members on the appeals board, and they have the final decision. So you know, there's another contradiction in sort of their standards right there. Yeah, I mean, if it looks like a good film, people are gonna see it because it looks like a good film, regardless of the rating, really. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right, and and the ratings don't do, you know. I mean, I'm I'm the parent. I mean, my kids are grown now, but you know, you do rely a little bit on it, but they really do almost nothing. I mean, they're it's so easy for them actually to do, uh, you know, instead of you know giving these restrictions like you can't see this and you can't see that. What a parent needs to know is what's in a film. They'll make the decision, you know. So you can very easily have a list of what kind of sex, what kind of language, if that bothers you, you know, what kind of drug use, what kind of violence, if that bothers you. You could have a real, you know, simple list, and the parents could look in and go, uh, no, I don't think so, and then, of course, the kids will figure out a way to see it anyway, but uh, at least the parents, you know, are <laughs> trying to do the job. But right now, it's, 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 it's not helping at all, and then, you, you know, you see films like, uh, what was it, uh, Batman Returns? I mean, was that PG-13? I mean, you know, I, I, there shouldn't. In my, there, I don't think. I don't think there should be any ratings at all. I mean, I think there should just be descriptions of what's what's in a film. But if there are going to be ratings, let's not have something that's completely biased in favor of the people who make the films. Let's have something that's fair for all filmmakers. Like right now, the, I mean, the MPA rates you know all films. It, it it rates not only MPA films. It rates independent films and foreign films. Well, independent films and foreign films are their direct competitors, so they're in a perfect situation to restrict, you know, the the commerciality of their of their competitors. Which is, you know, they there's no question that there is a definitely restraint of trade here, and um, someday somebody's going to close this thing down. I think with a lawsuit or change it, that's going to happen. And I know you've talked about this in your film, but how do you feel about the bloodless violence? You know, you've talked about this earlier about Batman getting a PG-13 rating. Uh. Yeah, you know, I, I as, you know, as a filmmaker, I'm, you know, I'm, first of all, in, in, again, in principle, I'm totally, I, I just don't think ratings help. I don't think, again, information is what you need, not, you know, somebody telling you what you can and can't do. Uh, and I think for the most part, most, most, most kids, you know, you know, know what they want to see and don't want to see, and if they, if they, if they want to see the film, it's not really going to hurt them. Um, so the, the guidance is really for the par parents because sometimes the kids don't know what they're seeing. You go and see Batman, you might be seeing a cartoon. And the next, you know, and you know, I, I mean, my son when he was 11, you know, I <laughs> stupidly took him to uh, Titanic, thinking, ah, you know, he likes action movies. Well, that was, or he's 10, I don't know what it was, but you know, he was, he was cowering. I don't know, you know, and it's like I go, oh yeah, you know, this was, this was a little too much, you know, and so. Um, I mean, he's okay. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't, you know, fuck him up or anything. Yeah, he doesn't have night terrors about the Titanic, does he? <laughs> no, no. Although I, I did, I made. Speaking of ratings, I made a. I, I, I uh, God, why did I do this? Um, he said, well, I, I want to see a really, you know, a really good movie, a kind of a scary movie or something." But he really, uh, not a scary movie, but something. And I, I had him see the um, Friday the Thirteenth. Jack Nichols in the Snow. The bucket list. The Shining. The Shining. <laughs> oh, he never let me forget about that. Uh, that did, I think that, 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 I know, he's okay, but. Uh. He doesn't wake up saying red brown and <laughs> <laughs> He's a Buddhist, though, <laughs> now. Uh, yeah. No, it was, it, was, it was fun to make the movie. I mean, it was really, you know, it, it, it uh, premiered at Sundance and uh, in this huge theater, 1,200 people, and People went nuts when those names were revealed, especially the appeals board, because it, you know some of them were probably in the audience. Every, you know, hundreds of people knew who those people were, and you know, then afterwards, you know, the film ended. It was a standing ovation, but 
it was, I, I, you could just feel in that room, people were just going crazy that, you know, and people were turning around, I didn't, you know, actually I heard people going, I didn't know he was in there, I didn't know he was on the Peels board, I never knew that, you know, so it was kind of fun. Well, Kirby, we couldn't thank you enough for joining us on Cinematic Arsenal. Hopefully we can do it again sometime. Maybe have a beer or something. Happy to. Right? All right, I tell you what. Well, that's all the time we have for the show today. Jesus. Are you that drunk? We're interviewing Jesus? Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Excuse my friend here. What, what, did I fart? Kind of. Thank you. For, I'm embarrassed now. Thanks for watching the show.